This is Kathy Beal of EmpowermentUnlimited.net with Astro Insight for the week of December 6th, 2021. The stakes are higher than ever, and compromise isn't much on the table. We're seeing the very real world ramifications of what we believe, what we think, particularly what we believe and think about ourselves as individuals. Massive shifts are locking in in how we relate to other people in particular. A new lens on reality has been given to a lot of us, particularly people with placements in the middle degrees of Gemini and Sagittarius, where the eclipses have been going on for the past couple of years. When you get new lenses, life looks different. Things are clearer. You can look at what's gone on in your life, in retrospect, with a very different perspective, and how you proceed from now on will also be very different. And this week, we're testing a lot of that. We're testing illusion. We're struggling with what role do compassion and forgiveness have when you've got a new pair of glasses that has changed how you feel about certain people and certain situations. A lot of people are allowing parts of themselves expression that have been tamped down for large portions of their life, and they're changing the ground rules of how they relate to other people. And there are shockwaves coming out from that, a ripple effect. This week, we begin what's going to be a several-month process of exploring what we really want, what we really value, what can stay with us for the long haul. Venus, the planet that rules everything we value, our relationships, money, resources, creativity is on her way to her retrograde, which will happen in the middle of the month. And this week, she's having the first of two meetings with Pluto, which also rules desire, but more in the obsessive, cellular, feral, can't do anything about it level. Resources that are often hidden, huge, big power, big money, big secrets, big rumblings below the surface, taking hold of the steering wheel this week and throwing a lot of people deeper and deeper and deeper into situations that really shake up the apple cart, to use a very old metaphor triangulation coming to a head, desires that maybe aren't entirely socially proper, becoming something you cannot avoid, itches that have to be scratched, doing things because you feel compelled to, even though your logical mind says, eh. So a lot of against your better judgment behavior going on this week, and it will be revisited once Venus goes retrograde on the 19th on the Gemini full moon and then meets Pluto again on the 25th. So things that happen this week immediately tie to Christmas Day. Just keep that in the back of your mind. We are inclined to go for the scary stuff, to dive deep, to try what we, on one level, have denied ourselves for a long time with Mars in an opportunity aspect or sextile to Pluto on Monday, setting this into motion. It may feel intoxicating. It may be incredibly weirdly bittersweet and nostalgic. It may make you feel like some bigger force than you, not just your cells, not just your, let's be honest, gonads, but some bigger force than you is shaping events. We have squares this week to Neptune, the cosmic fog machine, the most transcendent influence in the sky, obscures things, 
brings magic. It's not logical at all. It's incredibly escapist. Mercury is squaring Neptune on the 7th. The sun is squaring Neptune on the 12th. This might put cotton between your brain and your skull as events play out so that when things rattle you, you don't bruise your brain. It may bring gaslighting. It may bring all kinds of excuses. It may bring gauze over your new lenses so you're looking at things in not entirely a clear way. And a lot of this could go overboard because there are squares to the other influence of boundlessness. Jupiter, the guy who ups the ante of any action he gets near, and also the ruler of indulgence. Mars squares him on the 8th, and Mercury sextiles him on the 11th as the Venus-Pluto conjunction is exact. This creates an atmosphere of exuberance, of going overboard, of devil-may-care, of yakking quite a bit about things. So we're not doing stuff under cover of night. We're not slinking around. There's a kind of a brazenness and openness and yeah, oh yeah, you and whose army when people challenge what you want to do. And in all of this, there is a little persistent irritation that makes it difficult for you to just blithely fly into situations. There are things going, yeah, but, yeah, but, yeah, but. You got to think about things. You got to talk about things. There are compulsions to put on your big kid pants and step up and own up to what is going on. This is exact on the 10th, just before Venus and Pluto make their first conjunction. This is a semi-sextile from Mercury first to Venus and then to Pluto. So Mercury has anxiety-driving conversations with both of the two planets of desire before they meet. We're forced to think about a lot of things, even if we don't want to really face them. This is an influence of tugging on your uh, shirt saying, here I am, think about me, but what about me, but what about this? So you have the opportunity, you have the compulsion to think things through as subconscious forces are driving action. Action that's not the end of the story. Action that sets the stage for the next few months. How's that for Happy Holidays? Humming Thought of the Week. Resistance is futile. Song of the Week. If loving you is wrong, I don't want to be right. Luther Ingram. And Image of the Week is a tractor beam pulling a spacecraft toward a larger spaceship. You'll learn more about all of this in my forecasts for the month of December and for the Sagittarius New Moon Solar Eclipse, both of which are up at my site, empowermentunlimited.net, where you can sign up for my mailing list and book a session with me. I'm Kathy Beal, a professional astrologer with more than 30 years experience. I have a guided visualization that might be very useful for you right now, working with Pluto, since he's steering so much of the action right now. It's available in the shop at my site. I host the show Celestial Compass on Om Times Radio on the first and third Monday of every month at 5 Eastern. This week, I'm talking about generosity and gratitude with Melissa Caprio, author of Postcards to the Universe. I host Lively Conversation on Facebook at Empowerment Unlimited in the group The Astro Insight Lounge. Lots of bonus content at patreon.com slash Kathy Beal, and I'm really grateful to the people who support my work there. I'm on Instagram at at K.A. Beal, and on YouTube at the Professional Aquarian Channel. Talk to you next week.